Hey guys, what's up? It's Heather with The Moss Co. And today we are out planting the summer annuals in the walkway pots um, at my house. So we live in East Tennessee. It's a zone 7A-ish, B-ish. We're like right there on the border. Um, and I plant these pots up every season. I think this is like the fourth or fifth time we've potted them up seasonally together. So I'm super excited about them. They walk the, they line the walkway to my front porch and I've got videos of when I put these pots in and set them up on drip. This gets a pretty much full sun spot. It's right there on being the verge of full sun in part sun um, but I don't have a whole lot of sun around here because I'm surrounded by woods and while I love it it doesn't it means that I don't have as many opportunities for fun summer annuals so what we're gonna do here is take these tulip bulbs out um, I put tulip bulbs in last year and I had a really really great show and loved it these didn't perform as well they had the same ones next to my garage door they did really good so I'm not quite sure what happened we did get a really cold snap later and these are smaller containers so maybe they're like nope not doing it um, also why it likes to come out here and pick the flowers off the whatever so we've got we'll take these bulbs out and get rid of them um, top up with any soil if we need to we're gonna add the proven winners continuous release plant food in here and then we're gonna start um, the water soluble fertilizer I think I'm gonna do twice a week and see what that does um, so that's what we'll do and also I have my handy dandy trash bucket here for my tags but I want to tell you the plants we're gonna use so I've got yellow pink and purple um, here I really want after I bought plants I was like you know I should do like a thriller like an angelonia so maybe I'll do that next year but this is what we've got for this year so this is a Goldilocks rocks Bidens from proven winners um, and it's gonna get about 8 to 14 inches tall but I love these pretty little sunny yellow flowers yellow like a sunny bright yellow like this is one of my favorite colors in the garden then we've got our Supertunia Vista Paradise from Proven Winners. It's going to get 12 to 24. So I am a little concerned with my other two plants that they might overtake this guy. But I have also decided that this year I'm going to do a lot of pruning on my Supertunias to keep them from getting leggy. And that starts today. So when I put these in, I'm going to go ahead and clip off all this legginess. Yes, we will sacrifice these blooms, um, but hopefully that'll make a more compact growth habit. Because so we're trying to do like a mounding mounding spiller here um, so that should be fun and then we've also got the superbina superbina imperial blue this is a six to twelve incher i'm going to do the same thing with it i'm going to trim it back a little bit that will sacrifice these blooms but again that will mean that we get that more compact growth this one probably i can't train to be as compact as my super tunia but we'll find out it's always an experiment right because you know I don't know, we just doing it together. So, what I'll do here, I do have all of these on drip. I'm just gonna move my little drip tube out the way and just pull these bulbs out. This, um, the soil that's in these got put in here for these bulbs. So they're fairly fresh, it's fairly fresh. I, got, I put it in here in the fall, but I'm not, I don't change out soil, soil unless it has to be really. Um, if I had a problem with some soil, I probably would. Like I would, you know, if I had like a huge bug problem or something, I'd be like, oof, that's gotta go. It is 7 a.m. I'm gonna do the rest of those standing up so I'm not wearing so much dirt. And it is like 50 degrees out here, which some people would love, but I'm extremely, I get cold very easily. Is it cold natured if you get cold easily or if you like to be cold or if you get hot? I don't know. But either way, get cold really easy. So I'm just giving this soil a little bit of a fluff up. There's more bulbs than that down in here somewhere. All right, so that's all nice and fluffed up. 
I have been also saving all of my plant cans this year because when I'm planting or sizing up my seeds that I grew indoors, I find that's really helpful. So, gonna throw a couple scoops of this around. doesn't really matter like what order we plant these in because we're gonna kind of baby them hopefully hopefully I won't get tired and not baby them but we're gonna ba baby them to kind of get them to grow together so I'm gonna put my drip tube back down in here I'm gonna go ahead and clip some of this off so anything that's like grown this far out I'm just gonna get rid of it get it back down to the leaf canopy and yes, we are cutting off flowers. I know it hurts me too, but that's gonna grow more compact and look a lot better. These are set on drip, and one of the things that I did this year, I'm gonna root on that guy. One of the things that I did this year was change this contain these containers, and I have a, a, a hay rack over there um, I put them on their own drip system so that it can run every day the idea being that these will get plenty of water that way and then again we'll, we're gonna fertilize them twice a week with the proven winners water soluble fertilizer so that should be a good time had by all. I, I fertilized mine once-ish a week last year and I didn't end up with the containers that I wanted. Another problem with my containers is that I used a lot of super bells and I don't think that was the right choice either. So we'll see this year. I'm not gonna trim on this guy. I don't think he needs any trimming. His growth habit looks pretty good. Make sure everybody's settled in there. And then weed my plants through. I will not ever do another drip tube in a circle like this. I have gone to just like straight tubes now. And I mean, by the time this grows up, it's okay. But when you're planting it, it's such a pain to have to feed that joker through. So it doesn't look like very much right now, but hopefully in like a month, this will start to mound up and get really pretty and really full of color. Um, and again, we're gonna fertilize the heck out of it to try to get as many flowers as possible. because so we really want that big mounded draping over the sides cuteness. So now we're just gonna go through and do the other four containers um, and then we'll walk you through when it gets done. Alrighty, so we've got them all planted, so let's turn around and take a look at them. So here they all are. So there's a Max. So here they all are, looking just so ready to get some heat and fertilizer and get to growing. I still need to plant all of this up here. I've dug the holes, I just need to put the plants in there. We're gonna do a lot of um, some kind of blue salvia 
backed with a um, coleus. I want to do some lemon coral sedum towards the front and something right here for pretty color. But I'm really enjoying these so far. I like the yellow, purple, and pink. I think that that's super fun. I've mentioned before that I like really bright colors next to my log cabin. I don't think that um, formality looks good here, but I think that really fun bright colors do, especially when you've got just this pop of color here. And we'll do with something a little bit more muted, like I said over here. But let's take a look at these. So again, once they start to grow and fill in and mound over, they're gonna be really, really pretty. So that is gonna be it for me in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm super having a great time this spring, just planting all the things. We've put in so much infrastructure over the last couple years and you guys have seen all that. And to be able to just go to the store and pick out a plant and have a place for it to go and all the possibilities, it's making me broke, but it's super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one, bye.